Hey, welcome to 3 and 1. And uh, it's our Wednesday night. It's our midweek. I'm Pastor Rick. I'm Pastor Jeff. And we're glad to have you here for our family Advent time. I'm hoping that you're getting your Advent wreath already. By, by now, in the, in the third week, you should be pretty good at this and uh, ready to go. We will be sharing with you from Isaiah 35, verses 1 to 2 and verse 10. And Pastor Jeff is going to read that for us as we get ready to light our candles. Even the wilderness and the desert will be glad in those days. The wasteland will rejoice and blossoms will spring crocuses. Yes, there will be an abundance of flowers and singing and joy. The desert will become as green as the mountains of Lebanon, as lovely as Mount Carmel or the plain of Sharon. The Lord will display his glory, the splendor of our God. The Lord will. Those who have been ransomed by the Lord will return. They will enter Jerusalem singing, crowned with everlasting joy. Sorrow and mourning will disappear, and they will be filled with joy and gladness. Indeed. Now we have our time of prayer, and remember, you have the luxury of being a family at home, of joining hands with one another. If you're by yourself, that's fine. You may fold your hands, open your, 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 your hands, take an attitude of prayer, and we will pray together. So pray with us. The earth rejoices in the hope of the Savior's coming. With humility and thanksgiving, we prepare for his grace to cleanse our souls and to bring light into the world. Amen. Now, as we light the three candles of Advent in the third week, we do light two purples and a pink. A lot of folks thought the pink one is for the last one, but it is for the third week. And while we're doing that, sing along as we listen to Angels We Have Heard on High. Before we sign off tonight, just a few things. Remember to try to keep doing something new all the time. Maybe this week either you can get together, get together as a group and make an ornament for your tree or a decoration for the house. Yes, the tree's probably up now and all's going, but maybe there's an empty space that you can work on as a family. Or maybe you can uh, find this time to uh, find a good Christmas poem. Like I heard the bells on Christmas Day. And read the poem as a family and share time with that. But most of all, be sure that you're spreading the joy of Christmas. If you're wondering how to join that, please be sure to join us. You can join us through our food mission at Melville Church. You can join us through our food mission at the Dorsey Church. Uh, any opportunities to join us there. Most of all, we want you to make sure you click the subscribe. Click the little bell so you get, the, get, get notified whenever we are meeting. And uh, we hope to see you on Sunday or again next Wednesday night. Have a great week.